All right, dudes. Um, yeah, I got a quick fix I got to do today. My little hinges, because it's old plastic, are kind of breaking out. This one I tried to glue and tape. As you can see, the tape's still on there, and it's not really holding very well. And they're all kind of doing this, so when I shut the door, not all of them, but enough of them, that I'm going to try to do them all now. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to measure my hinge size, and I have a 5-inch hinge. All right, I'm using a shear. I'm gonna guess the average person doesn't have access to a shear, but I'm also taking these little thin pieces of aluminum. These are cut into one inch strips on this shear. Uh, you can cut this type of aluminum, you get it at Home Depot, but you can cut it for, uh, you can cut it with just a pair of snips. So I'm gonna cut two of these for every door. So that gets on the other side of each hinge. The reason I did five inches so it looks a little bit cleaner, one, and that way I can hit through it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I was going to through bolt it, but I can't really have something sticking at the other end. So I'm going to screw this through and then grind off the drill bit. This is a self-drilling tip, as you can see, so it's good for metal. So I'll sit that guy here, and the thought is, is that here I'm going to have a little bit of problem. But, cause, but here I got a good bit of meat on the plastic left. But you can see on this hinge, there's still a few, there's little holes where the other ones are. So I got to be conscious where to hit it. So I marked a hole here. I hit this one the first time I tried it, I hit the wrong spot. So basically each edge. I'd like to have a proper clamp, but I do not. Also, I'm going to line it up and stick a piece of tape on it so it doesn't bounce around while I'm screwing through it. Typically with self-drilling screws, you don't need a pre-drill, but since I don't have proper clamps, I kind of have to. Easier than I would like. Broken yet? It's pretty easy. I'm gonna put this wedge here. To give me some support. Check me out now. Watch this. One more time. One more time. Just so you know. That was a latch. That wasn't a hinge problem. All right. Maybe your uh, RV's busted and piece of shit like mine. Uh, you got a bit of this going on. Um, here's a little quick hillbilly fix for that. You got some big fat screws, and I'm going to take the rest of all the silicone I have. And just dump it in there. I take a big fat screw. This is an effort to have the uh, ugliest, most terrifying RV on the road. As it's plastic, you don't want to bury it. Or it won't. It'll strip out the other side. Yeah, so uh, I just put some screws in here. I cross these this way, like if you're putting on baseboard on a wall that doesn't have a stud behind it, just behind drywall to grip it, because this is very thin. Uh, this looks like all kinds of hell, but I think it sort of fits the kind of hillbilly motif I got here. I might just go ahead and put like a bumper sticker, maybe like a cracker barrel bumper sticker on there, just to kind of fit the uh, 
sort of motif I got going on. People let people know I'm on the level when I'm out in the out in the countryside there. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so there's that. Yeah. So I got the bins. They don't look pretty at all. I am well aware of that. But uh, they are secure and they will open and close. And right now they're basically full of sweatshirts, hats, tarps, all kinds of stuff going up to North Dakota. We've got a huge amount of donations from people. It's been awesome. I've been on PayPal. We've gotten over twelve hundred dollars, and it's been from. Uh, six countries. That's huge. That means even though it's not making the news, come on, you son of a bitch. But yeah, six countries. That means people are watching, man. Everybody but our president. He doesn't seem to give a shit. Um, either of them, new one or the old one. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's huge, and uh, it's all gonna go to the right place. And I will say, this little trip has sped up my winterizing needs. Get him over here. We got him. We got yeah, I had to dig these out. I gotta foil up all my windows. I've been monkeying with my generator all day. It'd be awesome if I could get that going. But I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get that going. If I had that going, I could use this thing as like a full-time mobile soup kitchen. Why don't you wanna come off, buddy? Come on. Yeah, so uh, anyway, yeah, thank you everybody for everything you guys have done so far. Wrong side. Uh, yeah, uh, again, all the donations. I'm going to try to send an individual thank you to everybody I can, but for now, I, uh, I've i tried to hit everybody. If I missed you, I haven't, but I'll get it at the end. And again, I'm going to account for every dollar. I got receipts for everything I got, and I'll post a video of all the PayPal donations next to all the... Uh, Receipts, so yeah, so you know it's going the right place. Um, they said a lot of roads have been shut off getting into the camp, but again, I'm trying to rally with a lot of other vets, and if I hopefully I can link up with them. I got some people on the ground I've been talking to that are going to tell me, got it off, uh, that are going to tell me which way to go. In the worst case, I can bring it straight to the reservation and just drop all the stuff off, Santa Claus style. Oh, so it's nasty on the other side though. I don't want to look at that. I put some black tape on it, so when I put it on the window, I'll show you the outside, so that way it just looks like it's dark in here, not like it's a big baked potato sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a little sidetracked. Got a lot going on today. Got Still got to make a lot of stops in order to get out of here. Um, got tons of stuff, lots of people jumping in to help out, and it's been huge, and I really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to hopefully yeah, get to the right people and... I know they said all hell's supposed to break loose there on the 5th, but the, me and the other vets will be there on the 4th. I'll be there on Friday. So, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much, and I'll try to keep you updated as best I can. Thank you. So, yeah, from the outside, it doesn't look too terrible. Otherwise, it looks like this, and uh, that looks a bit creepy when that's on every window, like you're intentionally blacking it out, not like you just have tinted windows. So, yeah, a little quick tip for you, not to, to look less terrifying. <laughs>